so here is the other world that makes martial arts talent, Khabib Nurmagomedov, and there's so much made about his value as a corner man. Tonight, though, he is competing and has Bulas in his corner. Yeah, Coach Khabib is as undefeated as fighter Nurmagomedov compete again. This guy is the definition of pressure. He is trying to take you down, and he does not hide his intentions. He wants to get in your face, he wants to take you down, and he wants to drown you. This guy is a savage, he's a beast. Every word that describes that is Habib Nurmagomedov with a bull in his corner. You ready? You ready? Let's do it. Well, they say everybody loses in mixed martial arts. I guess everybody except the Eagle, Khabib Nurmagomedov. Impossibly difficult to get this guy off of you once he takes you down. How do you prevent that from happening is the question for the opponent tonight. Look at the skip action that allows you to land that big knee. Nurmagomedov gets the early takedown. Big ground and pound. All right, the referee not seeing enough action there. We go back to the center of the octagon now. Oh, nice right hand by the champ, yeah. Glancing right hand lands upstairs. Lands a quick jab. Oh, nice connection with that punch. It's one thing to have an edge in reach. It's another to take advantage. Nicely done. Oh, sidekick. Well done. Well, go home. Another takedown for Khabib Nurmagomedov. But it's less about the takedown, DC, for your teammate and more about what he can do with it. Just an impossibly difficult guy to buck off of you once he gets that top control. He pinned his arm. He's got him in a crucifix. Nurmagomedov's looking for that arm triangle now. Oh, tense moment here. That arm triangle's tight. Oh, he escapes. He got out. I mean, wow. That is great submission defense. And it looks as though he'll let his opponent stand up here. Yes, he will. He gets to the single power time. Look for him to keep that elbow tight and throw punches with his free hand. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Oh, he scored with that uppercut. Man, the takedowns have come in bunches tonight, and there is another one. That was his strategy coming in. He has executed to perfection tonight. It never works out perfectly, but today it seems to be going as great as it can be. I know the takedowns don't look beautiful. They don't look perfect, but it doesn't matter. He's a submission guy. All he needs to do is get you to the ground. Right. So even if it looks a little bit bad being there, he is accomplishing the ultimate goal. That's to make you grapple with Well, he continues to stay busy. What do they say, DC? Punches in bunches? Punches in bunches. He's landing them upside his opponent's head over and over again. So there it is, taller fighter landing a knee to the body. Oh, and he lands another knee there, DC. It doesn't always pay to be the taller fighter. In this instance, it most certainly did. Collar tie here in the clinch. Oh, and he lands another takedown here, just doing a nice job, not telegraphing his shot, clean entries. The Olympian's got to like what he sees. I mean, over and over, he gets to the legs before his opponent reacts. By beating him on the entry, now it's up to the opponent to keep up. But this, he's going to start trying to move to a submission here. It looks like he's trying to attack the arm triangle. Oh, looks like he's got the submission locked in. He's in real trouble. Favoring position over submission. Very smart decision. You never want to value the submission over keeping dominant position. Nurmago Medov, ground and pound from half goal. All right, late round action here in Khabib Nurmago Medov, as usual, having his way with another opponent. Just such a nuanced game on the ground. I mean, this dude is so good at using his wrestling and grappling skills to control his opponents. He is a bear on top. And I'm saying that literally. And tonight he is showing that his strength is on another level. His opponent looks lost. He closes the distance beautifully. He's got a single collar tie. Look at the control and the posture as that big knee lands. 
Oh! So once again, making good use of his reach advantage as he finds a home for that jab yet again. Oh, and there's another leg kick for good measure. So doing a really good job with that weapon here tonight. And if you're trying to slow your opponent down, mission accomplished so far. When you can land that many leg kicks, you start to affect the boot. You start to affect the hand. Everything changes when you're blasting someone over and over and over with leg kicks. And you start to see the damage, not only in the legs, but in the facial expression right. of his opponent. Double leg is good. 20 seconds left. Got his guard pass. All right, working inside the closed guard now. Nurmago Medov's back in half court. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Oh, he's got the knee on the belly. Could be trouble defensively. That horn sounds means we have reached the end of round one. All right, so there's the end of the round. A lot of high-level action, and if you like the takedown game, as my boy Daniel Cormier does, you enjoyed that round. It's like we're watching the NCAA wrestling tournament. It's takedown after takedown. He's fighting his fight. He's able to change levels, drive into his opponent, and secure takedown after takedown. All right, so there's the horn. That means it's the end of the round. And get that man a singlet, man, right? Offensive wrestling on point tonight. Great that fight. was a tutorial. Great. That was every single yeah. takedown you could secure in a fight. He did it all the right way. He's beating his opponent to the finish before he can try to sprawl and respond. He's a step behind. If he's going to stop these takedowns going forward, he needs to react a little quicker. Oh, beautiful straight right hand. Oh, that jab alerted his opponent. Take it for a ride. Nice double leg, nice finish. Making all these shots count. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are gonna take their toll as this fight goes up. Well, he might be working towards an attritic knockout here tonight as he continues to pepper that body. Look at those numbers, bottom of your screen. That has been the most significant stat in this fight. The body strikes landed for this young man, working here towards the best performance of his UFC career. Relax, relax. Oh, that's a nice strike there by Numago Meadow. Yeah, Javier Nurmagomedov is not only a wrestler, he's a full-on mixed martial artist now, and it showed in that exchange. kick is there. Well, champ, I don't see that well, but it's hard to miss the redness underneath that elbow. A lot of bodily investment from his opponent tonight. Yeah, it's an investment, John. It may not pay dividends right now, but the more you go there, the more damage you do, eventually it will show itself. Right now, it's starting to show. Nurmago Medov's in half guard now. Inside the closed guard. And he's gonna try to find ways to pass and move to a submission. And now he's got the back. All right, looks like he's got a couple hooks in here, DC. And defensively, you better be careful. He's going for the rear naked choke now. Oh, he's got him in a choke here. How in the world did he escape that submission? Well, defense doesn't always win championships in MMA, but how about the submission defense tonight thwarting one attempt after the next? Yeah, and the fact that he's just constantly under attack tells you he was very prepared for the type of fighter that he was in front of. He knew there would be some submissions coming his way. He was ready to defend them, and he has done that beautifully. All right, working inside his opponent's guard here. You cannot sit in these jiu-jitsu guys' guard. And you can't have one arm in, one arm out. Guys will start throwing up legs, chasing triangles. Nicely done. All right, crowd absolutely loving it as the fighters, however compromised, make their way back to the field. They may be tired, but that tired, that fatigue is warranted. That was a high-level grappling exchange between two phenomenal grapplers. Hook, that'll land. Beautiful job getting those hands up. Back and forth we go. 
All right, so there it is again. Rinse, repeat, another takedown, just like we mentioned off the jump. This wrestler has been up in his opponent's face all night. Well, according to the game plan, it would be take this guy down and ground him out. It's exactly what he is doing. Every time he level changes, he gets to the hips, gets to his angle, and he secures these takedowns. He could not be happy. Habib's hook to the body now is blocked. Trying to hammer that lead leg. Certainly showing off some good hands here tonight. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. and certainly is making it count in this one. Oh, straight punch, it's there again. Come on, bud, you gotta win this round. I need you to take this round now. That shot blocked by Nermago Medoff. He's got him in the clinch once again. Well, you start to really worry about the wrestling, and there's that left hand from Cubby. Underrated. I mean, it's a very underrated part of his game, his ability to stand the strike with anybody in the UFC. Nice kick. These guys are going at it. Well, his opponent tonight has done a good job of getting back to his feet, and just as I say that, planted on his back again. Another takedown over and... Oh, he's got a choke. Oh, he's got it locked in. He's got that arm triangle deep. Oh, he got out. How good is that? This guy is so aware. He never leaves anything long to allow for himself to get some. So far. Just a little short. This round, you get more aggressive. I want you to pound him out just a little bit more. All right, so there's the horn at the end of the round. Multiple takedowns landed for him over the previous five minutes. And you know what, John? Even more importantly, look at the opponent now. He's afraid to pull the trigger because he's been taken down so many times. Getting taken down is one thing. But getting it, having it happen to you continuously really does make you gun shy. And right now, he's very tentative to let his offense go because of the fear of getting Great taken fight. down back to the mat again. Great. Great. Round three of a possible five. All right, we'll see how it goes here in this round. He had a big effort there in round one. Really had the wrestling on full display. John, if he was looking to come out here, secure takedowns, to feel good about the way things were going, he gets an A on his report card. Because takedown after takedown was secured, top position was secured, and as you watch that clock start to go up to the top of the tree, him and his team are ecstatic. Because yeah. they know when they're on top, when they're secured takedowns, they're winning. He passes to half guard. Good work from the top here by Nermago Metal. Straight right is there. Now leather being thrown on both sides. Oh, nice slip there. Great head movement overall by this guy defensively tonight. He does a great job of moving his head side to side and really mixing up the motion at which he moves. Oh, he lands another debilitating strike to the body and he continues to punish his opponent's midsection. Had a lot of success with it in the previous round and picking up exactly where he left off. Takes his back now. We need risk control. Oh, this is where you don't want to be, though. Look at that. Recognize he was about to lose position. All right, we'll see if he can apply pressure. Khabib's got his head looking for a guillotine. That guillotine is tight. Well, his grappling has been on point thus far. And Ooh, sorry to cut you off, but he got out. What a great job attacking the lock, rolling to your back, giving up the mouth. He chose a much worse position over giving up that submission. All right, just as we saw a few seconds ago, he finds the home for another ground and pound strike. Beautiful punch lands there from inside the guard. Under three minutes now to go in the round. All right, well, he's got him softened up here. So the crowd absolutely loving it as these fighters work their way back to the feet. The fighters are back to their feet now and they can take in the applause because they deserve it after that grappling exchange. Oh, nice. Huge connection by him there. 
He needs to get on his bicycle, John. He needs to get into space so that he doesn't get finished. Big right hand. Well, we wondered earlier why there weren't as many body strikes. He's making up for lost time here. Shot to the body connects, and that bear's watching. That's gonna hurt this opponent. With two minutes and change to go in round three. Ground and pound strike there now. Oh, how about that transition to top position? Beautiful work by Nermago Meta. Oh, he's got him in a crucifix now, DC. Look at him attack that arm triangle on the opposite side. When it's time to finish, he will lock his hands, pass his body all the way to the opposite side, drop his chest. you got to be kidding me. He's out. Really doing a nice job getting these shots home on the ground. Oh, another strike lands from the top. Drops down inside the now closed guard of his opponent. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big ground and pound. Nermago Medov getting worked here from the top. You don't want to take too many more of these ground and pound strikes. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Oh, good ground and pound here. Another ground and pound strike lands. Oh, he's got his back. He Bottom needs fighter to better move. Yeah, he's got to move, John. He's got to shrimp and try to either get up or pull his opponent back into him so he doesn't have the posture to land that big damage. Oh, lands with the ground and pound strike. All right, so he just decides to get up here and let the opponent up. Oh, nice defense. I thought that punch might get through. 45 seconds remaining in the round. Oh! Another takedown attempt here. It seems like every time he's gone to the well, it's been there tonight. When you're that successful with any one thing, why would you change it? He's gonna shoot for another takedown. And a great timing on that double leg. Get him off here, get him off. Medov's in half court. Oh, and he's back up again. Superman punch lands. Final seconds here. Potentially two more to go. We are headed to the championship rounds. All right, so there's the horn. Let us now look back at some of the action in that round, DC. And he had his takedown game going early and off. Yeah, he had it going great. I mean, he did a great job of finding his entries, rushing to his finishes before his po opponent could react and defend him. He should be very proud of the work he did over the course of that last round. You ready to fight? Ready. Fourth round, fight. fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. All right, here we go. The oh! He's got him hurt. He's got to start looking to finish. Beautiful leg kick lands. Right hand is there over the top. Oh, nice double leg, yes. Oh, he passes the half guard now. And he's not posturing the last punch, so look for a submission attempt. Well, he's got the ground and pound going now. There's an elbow from the top by Nermago Meta. All right, so pretty good damage here with the ground and pound. Nothing superficial about these strikes. He's got that arm triangle. Watch him pass to the opposite side. It looks real tight. He'll drop his weight to try to finish his technique. And oh. that will do it! Coming up huge tonight. Oh, my goodness. Wow, an unbelievable result here tonight by way of submission. And he bided his time there. He stayed patient waited for an opening, and then when it was there, he certainly capitalized to get the tap here tonight. All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. He does a great job of staying patient. He doesn't rush or panic. You are never safe when you're fighting this guy. You're in a lot of trouble. You're in a lot of trouble the entire time when you're this good in the submission. We send it inside the octagon once more. Bruce Buck. 
Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is called to stop to this contest at 53 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by submission due to an arm triangle choke. And still, the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Habib the Eagle Nurmagomedov. All right, so a lot of fighters have suffered from a similar fate.